Hi everyone, it's Ileana and I have a card to share with you today. I am using the brand new Concord and Ninth Everyday Bouquet Turnabout Kit. In this kit, you do get a turnabout template and I'm gonna show you how I put it to use. I've removed the stamp from the backer sheet and now I'm going to place it onto the acetate that has the X on it and I'm just going to place my stamp over that and I'm matching up the pictures with the stamp and because I have pulled the stamp off sometimes the stamp gets a little distorted and stretched out so I'm just careful to match up all of the little elements and that way I will get a good alignment. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to put that on the bigger template and I'm just going to marry up all of the X's. And once I get that all straightened out, I'm going to put my magnets and I'm just going to pick up the stamp. You're going to need that acetate with the drawing on it. So for my card, so uh, just set it aside for a little bit. I've added a little bit of adhesive to the back of my cardstock. And I want my image to be off center. So I'm using that to figure out where to place my cardstock. So by matching up the X's again, I can have my cardstock hanging off just a bit. Even though the cardstock is hanging off the edge, you can still stamp with it in the Misty. I'm starting off with Simon Says Stamp Coral Reef. And I'm just going to apply pressure and now I can check to see if I need to stamp again. And because this is the first time I'm using my stamp, it still needs to be seasoned. So I stamp it a second time. I'm going to clean off my stamp with my um, Lawn Fawn chamois. Uh, I do want to make sure all of the color is off before I do the next step. And I want to make sure that my stamp is dry. The next color I'm going to use is Gina K Cherry Red. This color does stain your stamps, so once you um, use it, it's gonna be that color. I wanna make sure that I get all that red off because red tends to linger around on your stamp and it could contaminate the next color. So I like to use my color box cleaner. It really does get all that color off and I don't even have to check my stamp because I know it's gonna be perfect. Now I'm using a Simon Says Stamp Laurel Green to stamp. And I'm gonna do this a couple of times because I want this to be uh, just as dark as the other colors. And I'm missing a little spot, so I'm just gonna add a little ink to that one little spot. Now for the final rotation, I do want to use some embossing powder. So I'm gonna clean off my stamp really well And I'm going to prep my cardstock with an embossing bag, and that's going to remove any static or any oils that my fingers may have left behind. And I'm just going to ink this up with my Ink on 3 embossing ink. I'm going to do this a couple of times to make sure that I get good coverage. And once that's all done, I'm going to um, pull out my embossing powder. I do want to warn you, you do not want to emboss while your cardstock is on the template and I pretty much ruined my template. Uh, but anyways, I am going to be using my Brutus Monroe um, embossing powder and this does have some really fine granules of color and at first I thought, oh no, there's no way I can get this off. but. Um, you just have to tap it off. Any color that you might see, you can actually brush away uh, when you're done. I didn't realize that and I thought, well, I've just much ruined my project, but in the end, it turns out fabulous. Once I have that heat set with my heat gun, I'm gonna clean off my work surface and you can see that I have just wiped away all that color that was left behind with the embossing powder. I'm going to trim off my panel and I'm just going to cut a little bit off of each side. I want to um, put a color, a strip of color behind each edge. And so I'm just going to end up trimming this down. I end up going to um, 
a quarter of an inch on each side. The turnabout kit does have a coordinating die that comes with it. And so I'm just going to use my creative corner to make sure that the die is straight. Once I run that through my die cutting machine, I want to hold on to the inner portion of the letter A because I am going to use it in my project later. I do want to stamp a sentiment just below the thanks. So I'm going to pull out another Misty because I don't like to unmount any of my stamps until I'm completely done, just in case I want to go back and make multiples. So I'm going to use my acetate grid sheet and line up my sentiment. This grid sheet is available free for download on my website. You just have to go to mysweetpetunia.com and go look under the download section. It will give you two of the grids and you just have to save the file and either print it on a laser printer on some acetate or take it into your local Kinko's to uh, print it out. I've stamped the sentiment with some VersaFine Claire and I'm not going to emboss it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Didn't have a piece of cardstock that I liked um, for the edges and to see behind the thanks. And so I just decided to create some using the same pink champagne embossing powder. I just used my embossing ink on a scrap piece of cardstock and added the embossing powder to it. Now that I've melted my piece, um, I just wanted to add a little bit of black so that it, the sentiment didn't look so odd just being the only black color. And so by creating a tiny, tiny little border on the edge, I can just make it all coordinate. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off any of that overhanging black cardstock just before I mount it. Uh, it'll be much easier to do it before I add it to my background. Once I have that all done, I'm going to add a ton of foam to the back of it. I don't like my cards to sag in the middle, so I will, I will always add a lot of foam tape to the back. Once I've peeled off all the tape, I'm going to adhere it to my card panel. I did have, it was a little warped, so I thought I would put it inside my Misty so that I could line it up against the edge. It was a lot easier to do it this way. And then I could tell if it was even from top and the bottom. Once I have that done, I'm going to take my scissors and once again trim off any overhang that I could have. Now I want to adhere the inner portion of the letter A. So I just dropped down the letter A into the opening and now I'm adding some adhesive. And that way I can just drop in the center part. And then what I will do is use a pair of tweezers to pull out the, the letter. Uh, it was just there as a spacer so that I would know where to put that little inner piece. Once that's all done, I'll adhere that to my panel. I did want to share this other tip. If you want to make multiples, you can just adhere two pieces of cardstock to your template and you can get two out of uh, this. Uh, all you have to do is you stamp one color, flip it over, stamp the same color, then you can change and you don't have to worry about um, cleaning your stamp in between the two cards. And if two is still not enough, then what you could do is you take your creative corner and you butt it up against your cardstock. Now you can do another card piece of cardstock on top. You just want to use a magnet to hold your cardstock in place. And I'm just going to ink up the stamp. And now you can do multiples. Now you can do without having to clean your stamp in between. All you have to do is rotate and you want to use the creative corner in the same corner that you originally lined it up with. And that's it. I'm going to show you the card one more time. I did add some liquid pearls in rose gold and I will call that done. Thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.